Hey, if you are having an issue with the seatbelt in your New Holland L160, the seatbelt tends to get jammed. It's been happening for us for years, and it finally got to the point where it just wouldn't allow it to start the skid loader anymore because it wouldn't sense that the seatbelt is actually buckled. So you get that constant blinking light, and then you can't turn off the park button. Has this happened to you? Because this happened to me, and I got stuck in the middle of my project. So in this video, we are going to be replacing this old seatbelt with a new one and connecting it to the sensor so that the skid loader will start again. All right, you here to help me? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is pull the lever and pull the seat all the way forward to give us as much room as we can to work on that seatbelt. And I've already disconnected this piece right here. And then unscrew that bolt right there. They both work. Okay, so I actually found uh, what I had in the garage was a half inch by 24 inch. So that'll fit perfectly over the small ratchet here. So that's gonna give us the leverage we need. And there we go. Works like a charm. Okay, so we'll put all those in the place so we don't lose them. Oh my gosh, don't put the washer down here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to use the three quarter inch socket. A 19 millimeter would also work. So here we go. We'll take this off, take that bolt out so we can get that seatbelt part off and put the new one on. Oh my gosh, that's on there really good. Okay. I'm going to have to go see if I've got another cheater bar that'll fit this ratchet because that is on there snug. Okay, so the seat actually does flip up. So it's actually this lever in the back here, right there. And then you lift the seat up because it's hinged back here. All right, so I think it might actually make it easier to get to that bolt. So what I'm going to do is cut a piece of wood that, um, that can sit on this ledge and hold this seat up as I work on it. So I'm going to measure from here to here and then just cut like a kicker or something to put in there to hold the seat up. Okay, so that is about 32 inches across. All right, so I got my 32 inch board. I'm gonna pull the lever up and lift the seat up at the same time. Prop it up. All right, so that's good. And now I'll be able to get to that bolt a little bit easier. All right, so that is in there really good. I don't have a cheater bar that'll actually fit over this ratchet handle. So I will just use what I have available. So if you can't fit in the seat like this when it's up, um, you probably just have to reach in from the front. It'll still be accessible, but this just worked for me. So I'm gonna climb out of it and take the other actual seat belt off. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Now that the seat is still up, I can actually get to that. Oh, it'll actually make it easier to get to that part too. So that method of holding the seat up actually works really well. So. I'm gonna crawl in there now and remove that seatbelt so we can replace the whole thing because you gotta buy it as a set. You can't just buy one piece or the other. Ended up picking it up today for $138 at the tractor place. Okay, so got a three quarter inch wrench. Put that in there. And hopefully we will be good to go.
All right, we're good. And hey, if you're getting value out of this video so far, can you hit the like button? And if you have any friendly and helpful tips that can help the next person who does this project, please leave them in the comments below. So we're going to take the clip off of here and reuse it on the new one. It's the washer in here, so we're just going to put this back on without it. Okay, so this is fastened. This is good. The seatbelt receiver is in. Good. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to pivot it. Whoopsies. Okay. So I'm gonna have to pivot this a little bit. All right. So I'm gonna have to set the seat up again. Why? Because I screwed up the seatbelt part. Gosh, that seat's heavy. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to pivot the seatbelt a little bit because it's too straight up and down and I need to angle it forward. So when you pull it over across your lap, it's actually in the right angle. Moment of truth. So here we go. Put the new seatbelt on. Ooh, look at that. It's all hooked up in the back. <gasps> the seatbelt light went off! Sweet! Oh yes, we had success! Okay, so the seatbelt was the problem. Awesome! We are good to go. Park goes off. Sweet fix in like less than a couple hours. Sweet! Look! Oh my gosh, this sensor has never gone off the first time you put the seatbelt on. You always had to like jam the seatbelt in for the sensor to even realize that it was off. <gasps> this is so cool. I can finally start working again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And make sure that you put all your tools away where they belong so that they're always in the place where you can find them next time. We fixed it. Good job. Thanks for helping. Alright, you gotta go inside while I finish up, okay? Ready? Come on. Who else has to adjust the seat sensor because it will keep turning off otherwise? Alright, move the seat up. Okay, here we go. Gosh, it is so humid out right now, and it's like 80 degrees. It's sticky. Okay, and I just bought the settings on my phone, so now it's just doing some weird exposure change. I don't know even know how to fix it. Ready to get Ready rolling. Ready to get rolling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slick. Okay.